When I first started serving uh, in the special needs sector uh, more than 10 years ago as a volunteer, I discovered that while Singapore boasts excellence in, in many things, in the hardware, the infrastructure, the schools, the airports, uh, even in the education system at that time for the mainstream, there was no excellence in the special needs uh, um, services. And I felt something had to be done. I think because of my own experience, uh, having a special needs child in the family, I could really empathise with the families whose children might be at risk of being left behind, who may not have the equal access to opportunities as some of the other children. I also empathise with the professionals who are serving in this area. So to me, uh, it's very important that as Singapore uh, grows to become a, a world-class city, a world-class economy, that we must also ensure that everyone who is part of our family is not neglected and that they are not left behind. I believe very strongly that if we are all part of the Singapore family, then all of us are sons and daughters of Singapore. And all of us, uh, as much as possible, deserve uh, equal access to, uh, to essential services in life, housing, healthcare, um, education, even employment opportunities, transport and so forth. And I also strongly believe that it is the right thing to do for those of us who are more blessed, you know, not necessarily in terms of affluence or money, to use whatever uh, resources, our time, to also help out and make sure that the community together will uh, be stronger, will be uh, closer together, will be more intimate. Every son and daughter has an opportunity in Singapore to do well and to be even more prepared for the next 50 years, for the next century. Why do I join the People's Action Party? Maybe I'm just very attracted to the word action. <laughs> to me, uh, it's very easy to talk. You can just Google and get a lot of ideas. To me, action is very important. As a, a skeptic myself, you know, I always find it very easy to uh, identify gaps, criticize something, and then you know, and, and maybe offer solutions and, and then just leave it as that. Uh, to me, the execution, the doing, uh, is the real skill and the real asset that's needed in our 21st century. Uh, talking, thinking, you know, uh, uh, it's important, you know, but the doing part and making sure dreams become reality, that's what uh, attracts me. The Singapore I want should be a country that, is, that does not just pride itself in being successful. Economically, skyscrapers, best airports. I really want to be part of a Singapore and help to build a Singapore that is what I term significant. At an individual level, I would really like every Singaporean to not just strive beyond survival, just success for themselves and their families only. I would like them to be able to look out for other people in the community, to help out as well, to ensure that we can raise you know, the, uh, the other boats as well as the tide goes up. At the national level, I'd like to see a Singapore that's not just successful, just economically, with great uh, uh, financial KPIs achieved and so forth. But I strongly believe that uh, countries can also be impactful and, and I really would love at national level to see Singapore being able to use its influence, its affluence to impact other nations and not just look at our own selves only but also to see how the lives of other people outside of Singapore can also be improved.